Hi, Marty Lecklader, Product Manager, IBM Forms Experience Builder, with a quick look at the new release 8.6.3. We'll take a look at easy field validation, quick JSON services, and enhancements to the REST API in this video. Non-technical users will love the new easy field validation. Right within your properties dialog, you can specify a validation pattern. There are simple rules to follow. You can even type in an example telephone number. In this case I've got two telephone formats separated by a comma. Either one is valid. I'm going to discard the placeholder and I also put in an invalid message in the dialog. We'll go ahead and preview this. We'll put in an invalid telephone number. We see the invalid message displayed. Now let's go ahead and put in a valid telephone number and we can see that it not only validates the telephone number but it also makes it conform to the pattern that we specified. Let's move on to my favorite new feature, Quick JSON Services. I'm going to use this simple application with three different drop-downs, and we're going to go to a site called Edmonds. Anybody can go to this site, get an API key. There's a number of different APIs that I'm going to call here. So the basic scenario is that I'm going to go ahead and get the different makes, pick a year, and then I'm going to get the models for those cars. So in this case, rather than typing in the options for the drop-down, I'm going to call a service. Now, If you're familiar with services, you'll see something new here. I can enter a URL, so this is an JSON URL. I paste that JSON URL in, and it understands the URL. It allows me to assign inputs to the API. And then when I save here, I'm back to the familiar practice of mapping inputs and outputs from my form to the service. Now because I specified no inputs to the API, um, I'm not giving it anything and I'm simply just getting out all the makes, so a list of makes, and I'm mapping that into the saved value and displayed value for the dropdown. Now earlier I went ahead and wired another service to get the models, so I've got the three different dropdowns working together here. So let's take a look at this. I get the make, let's say Chevrolet, and then I'll pick the year and based on that combination going to the model service it's getting me a list of models to populate the model drop down so we'll take another look at let's say Mazda and we'll go ahead and pick uh, 2015 and we see all the Mazdas from 2015 one more example hey this is fun uh, Volkswagen we'll take a look at the year and then the model so you can imagine how this might be useful if you're trying to integrate with services to provide your users with a tailored dynamic experience. Now finally let's take a look at some of the enhancements to the REST API. Now you know that you can go into view results for any application and get access to the data. You can even click the export button and get access to it via XML or an Excel spreadsheet. But did you know that you can also type in a REST call for that application and get the data back as JSON. So we introduced JSON in 861, but with 863 we have documented how you can filter this information. So as an example, let's say I want all the information but only where the workflow stage equals ST underscore submitted. Or perhaps I want only the approved. So in this case I see just one record. Or perhaps I want to single out any field in the form. So you can filter on just about anything in the form, uh, metadata included, and grab that information. And of course the reason all this JSON stuff is so exciting is because you can do amazing things with it as a web developer. So here I have a web page and I've created a couple of applications. The one on the left is a jQuery data table. It's making a JSON call out to that API. It's pulling in the different records and then I'm able to pass parameters and filter on the information. As I click on items in the table, I can see the form over to the right. I can change the form. I can watch, watch the workflow stage change right in front of my eyes. So that's just a quick example of what you can start to do with the JSON support in the FEB API along with filtering, uh, your imagination can go wild with this stuff in terms of what you can build. Let's take a look at the code behind this. So each one of these are different web applications on a page. So the item on the left, you can see I'm collecting a number of different P 
pieces to the URL, building it, and then that constitutes the REST call. And then at the uh, bottom here, I'm displaying the jQuery data table when that REST call has been completed. And then on the right, uh, this is also a simple little web application that uh, is picking up the jQuery variable, the item that was clicked on on the left, and passing the URL information over into a frame to display the form. So that's a quick look at some of the highlights from Forms Experience Builder 863, the easy field validation services, the quick JSON services, and now the enhancements with the REST API. Thank you. Thank you.